the internet. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again. My name is John. I'm alongside Elizar. Hello. And the Wanderer returns. <laughs> a big welcome back to our good friend, Sean Harry. Sean, good evening. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Together, we are, as always, those, those video, video guys. guys. And we've got a great show for you. Don't forget as well, coming up after the show, right here on YTV, we've got Talking Who. But for the next 45 minutes or so, we are talking web TV. We're looking at two yes. brand new or newish uh, web series. And of course the Bitlies. And the top five most tweeted and retweeted videos yes. of the week in the Bitly. So without further ado, let us look at the first web series. It's uh, a comedy series from Canada. It's called Axe Lords. Elisar, yes. are you ready with a clip and then we'll have a chat about it? Indeed. Yeah, I know you usually don't sponsor underground stuff like this. But I'm telling you, this Axe League is going to be huge. Oh! I know it sounds dangerous. But believe me, your 10-year-old will be right at home here. I thought you were working with African-American children. These kids are where it's at for being messed up in the head. It's about TFC. Tradition, family. And if this thing makes money, I deserve to be a part of it. Culture. I have a person of interest coming here. This looks uh, awesome, right? I was going to say different. He wants to put us on the air, make us stars. Different than you described to me on the phone. Holy fuck, we're going to go to jail. How many fucking beers do you give him? Just one, but I popped the roof in it. Is this all of them? There's about 30 more. Plus the memory stick, which can all be yours for the low price of putting us on your morning show. These guys have started a league where they throw axes at each other. Let's give a big morning show welcome to Jay, <laughs> Rob, and Daryl. That's a sport. And we throw axes at targets, not at each other. Like darts. <gasps> I love darts. <laughs> this isn't a joke. <laughs> And it's more than just throwing axes at a target, okay? A lot more. A lot. Well, there you go. That's a clip from Axe Lords, uh, a five-episode series from Canada. Don't know if you know. Is there going to be any more episodes of that? Five episodes so far. Yeah. Well, it does end in a way that you're going to see more. I mean, that's. The, I'm sure there's an intention there, but we should wait and see. We have to wait and see. You never, have, you know. Who would have thought that? Only out of Canada, a show about people who throw axes. Indeed. Well, now I've now I've seen it all. You've now seen it all. <laughs> now I've seen it all. Well, I feel like that. And there, you can never say that with the internet, because there's always something new what? and exciting. Do they ever have that on, on Elf? People uh, throwing axes? I'll have to think about that. I don't think so, but... Um, I'm sure Alf had certain circus skills for the occasion yes. employed. Well, before we explain what the story is, I mean, that, I think that's one of the n great things about the internet is actually you, you're seeing ideas and stories that you would just never see in a, in a show. Yeah. And so you can explore it, oh, absolutely, sort yeah. of well, sub that, subcultures, that, essentially. That's actually the most sensible thing to do. If you're going to do a YouTube show or an internet show, do something which hasn't been done before, covering something that hasn't been covered before, and I can put my hand on my heart and certainly say I've never seen a show before about people who throw axes as a sporting game. Indeed, Elizabeth, I think what you're saying is like, um, if these guys have gone to the commissioning editor of the BBC and said, I've got a great idea for a, web for a new series. Uh, it's about these guys, they kind of like to throw axes. They get drunk on a Tuesday night. They get drunk night. on a Tuesday night. Uh, <laughs> they would have said, um, well, it's not really a BBC <laughs> Two kind of thing. Uh, it's not even a BBC Four It's not even a BBC Three or Four kind of thing. So what are we going to do with it, you know? Yeah. And... Um, I think that's the fr the great thing about the internet. We've got the freedom of the web to put these ideas into practice. These crazy kooky ideas. You know, I don't want to say throw enough mud at all and see what sticks, but um, you just get a chance to sort of put these things out there and see if it's if it gets taken. Yeah. One thing I didn't, I don't know, is, is whether axe throwing is actually a, a legitimate sport or not. I don't think it's a legitimate sport. I mean, do, do any of us know? I mean, we in communication with the creators. Because I'm wondering, yeah, is I mean, this is a genuine thing, uh, or did they create this? The, the, the creators are actually, you know. Like many of the things, uh, series that we review, they're yeah. actors as well, and they're all doing stories and series to showcase themselves as actors and, and writers and producers. Indeed, the creators are Mark D'Angeli, is that how you pronounce it? And uh, Charles Ketchabow. Now, I know Mark, which I just discovered a connection I have with Mark, because Mark was in a, in a Canadian TV series called At the Hotel, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. at my day job at work, we're actually 
the sales company for. We actually distribute that series. Oh. So perhaps uh, in the interest of being unbiased, perhaps you shouldn't continue well, with this review. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the story. We have um, three guys. They get together on a Tuesday night. They get drunk and they throw axes. Yeah. And they throw competitively. It. Competitively, it's, it's described as replacing darts with axes. And that's what you have. It's like the Canadian version of darts. Okay, and darts, uh, do, do Americans know what darts are? I suppose they probably do. Yes, they know what darts are. So we don't need to explain what darts are <laughs> to the Americans. What we might need to do is explain what bullseye is, but uh, we'll maybe follow that up in a special... No, Jim Bowen does not appear. Talking bullseye. Talking bullseye, exactly. Took the words I'm, out I'm, of I'm there with you all the way for that. Thank you. Well, you missed Talking Alf, so I know I ago, but it's still on YouTube uh, if you check out those Video Guys uh, TV uh, YouTube channel. I, I can't wait to go. So... What happens in this story, this particular story, is they've been doing this for a while, and a couple of them start just thinking, "Well, do we want to continue doing this?" Yeah. It's essentially a sport, which is their hobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But is it? Can well, one, they? One can they them, take it to the one, next one, level? One of them's got a girlfriend who doesn't want to continue with. The, the other one's got family issues. He's got a kid. So it's you know, you've got other commitments. What do you do? Do you take that sport to the next level? And yeah, so that that's it really. Uh, and he, um, the, the lead guy, he's trying to get publicity. He try he gets them on a on a on a TV talk show. TV talk show doesn't know what to make of them. They kind of make make fun of them. So it's an interesting story. I don't want to get too much into the plot because uh, we do want to ch encourage people to check it out. Of course, you can yeah. check it out at www.axlords.com. Mm. But it's uh, a pretty fun show. Well, and, I, can't, I uh, liked it I'm just because fun. it was different. It was yeah, the kind exactly. Of like, Unlike anything we've seen before. There's, there's something about nice about it. It's kind of like got a very masculine and party kind of feel to it. And it's, it's quite funny. But also, being away from the sort of New York uh, yeah. bubble, we're getting a sort of a different perspective on on life, really. And this is, you know, more working more, class... A bit more red collar, well, blue, blue collar, blue, 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 collar the, blue collar, blue collar, collar characters, which... We don't see that often in, in web series, yeah. and, and unfortunately, we, you know, there, there should be more. You know, so again, it's it's sort of new and different on different levels. Well, it's me. new, it's different, it's fun, it's exciting. I encourage you all to check it out. Axelords.com. Uh, we love it. Three cheers Just from cheers the three from of us. Me. It absolutely does. Guys, before we go on, I've just realised I forgot pretty much the most important part of the show, of course. Your bow tie? Well, no, not the bow tie. We are those video guys, but this show is all about you. You're watching it live on YouTube and on yeah. Ustream. And we have got on uh, Sean and Alizar's computers, we've got the chat rooms there. So please, you know, if you're in the chat room, we've you actually, want to say hi. We've actually got one question which is coming through loud and clear on the chat room. What's it that? is, John, what does it say on your T-shirt? I'm actually not sure that you do want to know what it says on the T-shirt because uh, although it looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles T-shirt, it's actually Steve the Turtle Wiener, Whoa. who is uh, an independent wrestler in the New England region. Uh, who let me stay at his Perhaps house you should have worn this t-shirt last week when we had our wrestling special maybe I should have well he's actually a part and of he has, the he has uh, a wiener that looks like a turtle uh, please Sean it's not that kind of show um, he's uh, no, it is that a, kind of t-shirt it is that kind of t-shirt he's a very special guy actually um, old uh, Steve Wiener mm. and hello Steve if you're watching we hope you are he actually is he plays Steve, a very my condolences small on your wiener. he plays a very small part in the film that I made with Colt Cabana which is called Wrestling Road Diaries oh. which uh, I encourage you guys to check out he actually let us stay at his house in New England on, after a show is it on DVD? it is on DVD you can, can you check it out it on Amazon? you can check it out at www.coltmerch.com at highspots.com pretty much anywhere that sells wrestling DVDs you can and must check it out and there are ads and trailers all over the internet as well for that but, guys, time now for the... Well, let's do the housekeeping then. I've said it's your show as much as ours. How can you uh -huh. get in touch with us? These are the ways. We're yes. on We're on G+, Google+. Check it out, gplus.to slash TV. TV. Yeah. We're on Ustream. You're probably watching us on Ustream. Ustream.tv slash user slash YTV. We're on Twitter, at those video guys. We encourage you to follow us and tweet us, and we'll, of course, follow you and tweet you back. And we're on YouTube. Please subscribe and like our videos at uh, youtube.com slash thosevideoguystv. We're on Facebook. Like the page. Facebook slash thosevideoguys. And we have our own internet website at thosevideoguystv. So that's every form of social I think, media. I think we got internet. it covered. Yeah, if I missed yes. anything out, I can only apologise. That's basically the salient stuff. We're on Twitter. Well, you can follow Twitter. us on Twitter. And we encourage you to do that. So, guys, send us your comments and, uh, and you know, be a part of the conversation. Why not? So... John, you like, um, I guess, North American culture. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. yeah. We last week we did wrestling. This mm -hmm. week we've had 
axe, axe throwing. Axe throwing. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, I, I didn't even realise that was is, part of Canadian culture. But. Well, maybe, you know, who knows? Is there like a subculture from North America that hasn't been covered yet in a web series that you'd actually like to see? Well, I'll have to have a think about that. We've done wrestling, we've done ALF, which I was delighted with. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to see an ALF web series, actually, thinking about it. Furbies. Uh, Furbies, I think they've been and gone, haven't they? You know, They're not like ALF, which is timeless, but uh, yeah. Furbies were a fad. Well, we'll have to have a think about that. If there's any more, you know, if you guys have got any sort of uh, subcultures or bizarre discoveries uh, that you think we have sort of overlooked or might be interested in, then again, tweet us and let us know about it. And we'll look at your suggestions in an upcoming show. But for now, it is time for the Bitleys, the top five yep. most tweeted and retweeted videos around the internet of the last seven days. And what, LSR, may I ask you, is at number five? <laughs> You get the idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, I asked. It's actually quite cool at first. Do you want to read out the title? It just goes on and on. Number and five. That's number five, The Luckiest Man on Earth. And uh, I can see where they're coming from there. Can, is there a, a sort of genesis video to that? Is there an explanation? of what There's an explanation at the very start. He's, he's getting the pa- apparently, if you touch something, it leaves like a trace energy there. Right. So he's about to meet uh, uh, President Putin. And shake of his Russia, hand. the Russian. Obviously, so right. he touches five hundred. One thousand. Or was it a thousand? Yeah. I, I think I gave up long before. Did it have? Or any? is it five hundred? One thousand pairs, pairs or one thousand pairs. pairs okay. of boobs, and then he shakes okay. Putin's okay. hand, and the energy of all those breasts goes into Putin's <laughs> hand. To, uh, to who? Sorry, um, Putin. I don't know if it's a, one of these videos that's been retweeted that could have only been made in Russia. I, mm. I think if you try to make it over here. You'd probably land yourself in prison, or at least they got must, two well, I'd like to find se- out. several I black think, eyes. I'd like to find they out. Checked. I think they checked <laughs> no. with every girl before they touched their breasts because uh, they all sure, seem quite. There's ladies uh, in the room. You know, everyone's getting a bit. bit just may- this, maybe yeah. that they're just more freer in Russia. Maybe, yeah, maybe well, it's just you know, a different culture. Eliza, we're going out tomorrow to. Uh, well, can we say where we're going? Yes, to? why not? We're going to see. <laughs> we've we've got the hot tip that I Justine is in town, and it's going to be at a certain pizza place in East London. So I yes, say, but if you are going to dip your foot, you have to ask for permission. Well, that is the point. we'll find out. Let's find out. I'd like to make a those video guys version of that video, starting with I Justine. But you need a thousand. Well, I think a thousand. I'm not going to be helping you with that one, John. I'll let you do that one by yourself. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. Number four. <laughs> check out uh, Uncharted Three. Sam. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather play the game. Indeed, it's no, it's no Neil Buchanan. Did you ever it's see the giant art attacks that Neil Buchanan used to yes. make? Yeah, yeah. Sort of I don't know if this is the the same girl who won Ukraine's Got Talent doing sound art, but um, that was Ukraine's, Ukraine's, got Ukraine, Ukraine's, got Ukraine's Got Talent as much as Britain's Got Talent or America's Got Talent. But a different but the, kind of talent. The winner, the winner, was quite nice to see someone who's actually quite artistic. Yeah, yeah. it is nice. You know, it is. Nice. It is very cleverly done I have to say it's a 9 minute Sony Playstation advert for a video game but it's they it's have always brought, an ad they yeah. brought always an, an ad but they brought in, at least they brought an artist to do it I and, said at least they brought some money into it and not necessarily it's all, it hasn't been written by a marketing company it's just an artist it's been stolen by a marketing company <laughs> which is as all great art should be I think uh, ok let's check out number 3 but it's nice to see play, Sony Playstation sponsoring artists you know, I, it is it's lovely I keep saying we don't see enough Sony Playstation ads uh, LSR nowadays so <laughs> let's check out number 3 Video game in a box. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. I'm not sure I understood what was going on there. Someone's yeah. invented a, basically an basically, analog video game. <laughs> basically, they've taken a box and it's basically a copy of a video game, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and actually, do you, do you remember in the 70s, Pocketeers? 
It, do I, re- I wasn't even alive it's in the like 70s, Sean. Come on. things that were trying to, like little toys, yeah. which were all clockwork and plastic, but they were trying to emulate Space Invaders or something. And just right, yes, yes, that yes, yes. It was a, it was, think of this, it was a steampunk Game Boy. Okay, what do yes. you mean by uh, analog? Is it like a wind well, up thing or, or? It's run on, ba- run on batteries. batteries? It's rough and run on batteries, yeah. Okay. Well, and it's basically got a motor that just winds the. Th- the, it was the, very the screen clever. around. It's, it it's clever. Very, very clever. Yeah. Well, it's video game. It's in the done box. with magnets. Wheel, of course. Tweet and, and, and uh, um, lo- ice lolly sticks. It's made with ice lolly sticks. It's, I mean, it's a completely made up okay. game. You know, wow. just, yeah, quite well, clever. We'll put all the links, as always, on our website of all the yes. videos that we review later tonight. So uh, be sure to check them out in the week. But let's move on to number two uh, in the bitlies. Check this out. <laughs> Oh dear. It's not playing properly. We're having a few yes. technical issues. But it's only to be expected. We're pioneers of the internet. You know, this is <laughs> this might be the future of uh, television, but it hasn't so arrived it, quite yet. I, I want, was, was this like a, a short s- film? It's a science fiction y short a, film. Uh, uh, competition? Because it I, seems like a fully legitimate short movie, great production values. Uh, but basically, it's it's quite an apocalyptic view of how nuclear power could go. And yeah. It's you know it's a, a short film from Japan as well. Um, quite bleak. I, it's quite bleak. Yeah. I'm not entirely. The, the reference. The title is blind. Mm. But it's bl- blind being about we're not being we're being blind about our potential future. Yes. So, so it's kind not of like blind a, is in like curtains. Exactly. No, so no, it's no, like no, we're yeah. being blind but because they, of the they, environment right now. Basically, what it starts off saying is what happened if that nuclear power plant that got hit in the tsunami, what happens if they couldn't control it? Yes. Mm. And then the next five minutes are about a guy going through his daily life where everybody in Tokyo has to wear uh, some kind of... Well, it's not like... Uh, I don't assume it's not so much gas, it's sort of radiation breathing. or whatever, but, but breathing apparatus. Uh, but there, there, there was sort of nice... Um, Nice effects where they, for instance, like the teenagers, they've all blinged up their yeah. oh, that, that was quite little fun. studded that, that, diamonds all over there. That's quite funny because it just showed you how the society in this world has evolved. Got, yeah. has evolved where wearing a mask like that is a day to day accepted thing. So you would bling out or customize your. But that, you know, that one had been in the bitlies like for like five days running. I mean, you know. Oh, quite, wow, it was okay, a very popular right. video. Yeah. So well, that's it's very, doing it's the rounds. very professionally. I mean, it's the kind of short film you'd expect to see if you were at like a film festival or something like that. So. It's a scary little film, but uh, check it out. It's called Blind, and we'll uh, yeah. tweet that later very, uh, very later good. in the week. But well, well, number, number one, one, it's time for number one. Check out Jeb Corliss grinding the crack. I like the sound of that. Two, one, Sail! Wow! Scary. So, yeah, that is gone, scary. Either of you ever gone bungee jumping? No, I haven't. No. Was he? Was he? Did he have a bungee? No, 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 no. no, no, no. He, so. He's he basically was, uh, flying. He's just bas- yeah. he's jumped off. He's got he's got a cape with wings. Does he land? Well, I mean, presumably he lands somehow. But he's got. A, a, there's a parachute land? at the end. So right. he, he, parach- he just for the last bit he let. They didn't look like much because larger because than there. Though, though. There isn't. You come from the planet Krypton, just wearing a cape isn't. It's probably not going to do too much, no. But, but it's just, it's almost like a crack in the valley. And yeah. He's just, and he's just going down that. I guess this it creates some sort of wind updraft. Mm. But there's one bit where there's a there's a man standing, holding some balloons, and I guess the, the distance between him and the and the flying guy is actually only a few feet before it goes drops down again. Yeah. And he literally comes in. Wow. And just hits the balloons. The quality of he that footage was remarkable. Yeah. And did he uh, he must have like sellotaped his iPhone <laughs> to his uh, backpack I think. <laughs> He's got he like three he cameras on very, him. Yeah. Get some very good webcam uh, video cameras. HD cams, yeah. Designed it's a stunning people. film. Yeah. You can, but, but scary. You want to, so don't don't watch it. When you don't watch if you have no. vertigo, though. Yeah, absolutely not. No, not for the. It's uh, the kind of thing I'm very happy for him to do. Indeed, not and for I will the. Not be uh, doing myself anytime soon. But there's some <laughs> scary moments on it. I have to say, yeah, especially when apart that video when no, it's only yeah, just a few feet one. off the ground. Yeah, Jeb Corliss grinding the crack. Uh, doesn't mean what you might think it means, but. Uh, Any comments in the chat room? 
Anyone, anyone in the chat room fancy a game of grinding the crack? Um, I don't think people particularly want to have a go at it, but they're saying it looks pretty cool. They can see why it's number one as well. Uh, and uh, actually, you know, someone said they thought it looked like fun, but they might actually have been talking about the uh, video yeah, game in the box like the there. Video yeah, game in the box. which did look like fun. Uh, okay, cool. So that is the Bitly's top five. We now move on to our second web series of the week. It's Unleashed. called Unleashed. Seven episodes to date, but the finale is yet to yes. come. Uh, let's have a look at a clip. Hi, I'm Heather Posen, and I own Leash Pet Care Service. Sometimes my employees aren't the brightest. Come on, Lori. Oh. They're great. They're really sweet. You pick up the poop, hand in the bag, flip it, and grab. Sometimes you really just have to spell it out for them. Hand in the bag. Okay, it's a comedy based in uh, Hollywood. Yep. So, it's, a, it's, it's actually a bit like we were discussing earlier about what whether there was a theme for tonight. And Elazar said, you know... Bizarre comedy, subcultures. But it, it was like yeah. bizarre subcultures. Because I remember when I first started going to LA 15 years ago and I discovered that people employed dog walkers. Dog mm-hmm. walkers, and yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah because people a are, thriving pe- industry. People in LA don't walk. Yeah. So what are you going to do if you've got a dog? Or a job, to be <laughs> fair. You know. Well, people have jobs over here, but they still have time well, you know, to walk their dogs. Or you do what I do, you get yourself a cat instead. No, but when I go uh, for lunch, when I sit outside my office, I often see uh, people, I assume are professional dog walkers, they're taking like sort of six or seven dogs yes, all at the no, same sure, time. Yeah. So but I guess if, you, if you're here. in LA, let's say you're Victoria Beckham in Los Angeles, you have a dog and you need a dog to walk. Mm. You know, Someone has to walk your dog, right? Yeah. Because is Victoria Beckham going to pick up the poop for a dog? I don't know. I don't think she would, would she? I don't know. She'd have an employee to do that. Well, let's find out. Is she on Twitter? <laughs> we can tweet her and find out. I think she's on Twitter, actually. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll come back to you next week. That's the beauty of the internet. But it's uh, a comedy. Every dog has a dog walker, and every dog walker has a dream. Yep. Unleashed is a scripted comedy that follows Heather Posen and her growing pet care company, Leash. And we follow the lives of her employees and learn a bit about their clients as well on unle- uh, watchunleashed.com. I'm sure. Have you seen much of this yes. show? What did, what did you make of it? I really enjoyed it, and it's certainly. A, I mean, as Elazar was saying, if you're going to do a YouTube series, do it about something that's different, that's something mm. people haven't really experienced. And I thought this was a really clever subject matter to try and tackle. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of poo jokes in it. Yes. There what is a lot of poo jokes. <laughs> well, you know, this is you about know, walking dogs. Indeed. Of course, you're going to have poop all over the place. Uh, it's a funny series. Yeah. It is a funny series, and and. Um, it's quite enjoyable and it's you know she's the, the story is she's just trying to build up her business she wants to get celebrities clients as well yeah, yeah. Uh, her new girl ends up sleeping with one of the clients okay the two guys Scandal. that she the two guys that she employs actually don't hate doing what they're doing but they're doing it because you know like any well like one of the guys for instance it's like a jobbing actor he's, yes. he's, you know you have to get jobs while you're being trying to well, be an actor in Los yeah, Angeles well, that's, that's actually, that's actually yeah. you know and that's it's interesting they cover that because that is actually if you're not a waiter mm. you're kind of like a dog walker but we've seen kind of uh, we've seen other web series as well which have sort of focused on people doing something else while they're trying to be an actor I yeah. can't even think of one at the moment but we've, it's, it's a well worn yes. theme I think, yeah, yeah. Um, even though it might seem relatively contemporary we have seen that aspect of things before but there's lots of cute dogs in it as well yeah. well you know if you established Ellis, I am a cat person I am a cat so, person if you want something that's popular on the internet you put cute animals in there Yes, yeah. indeed. Another market, the animal lovers. The, the animal lovers, indeed. Well, all of and the dog, the and the dog obsessives. A dog obsessive. I saw a lady. Um, so I work in uh, Kensington, uh-huh. which yes. is quite well to do. And I saw a quite sort of tall, long limbed lady walking a dog the other day, and she stopped and uh, cleaned up after her own dog. Which but she's supposed she still, to do. Yes. Yeah, which you are supposed you to get do. Fine. No, congratulations to yeah. her. She, she still looked very sort of dignified and elegant doing it. You didn't want to rush in and say, oh, I'll do that for uh, you. No, I, I didn't. I don't it, could like have been a, it could have been a good way, an intro, you know. Mm, I don't think so, Alice. I'm assuming mm-hmm. if she's walking a dog, then she's probably got a husband. <laughs> Is that wrong? <laughs> Maybe uh, that's a I ridiculous generalisation. She's, she's probably very lonely. Which is why she had to get herself a dog. Well, maybe she's only because her husband works away a lot, in which case yeah. he's probably... You know, she lived in Kensington. She, I, far be it for me to cast dispersions. I love Kensington. I live close there myself. Uh, I don't like dogs, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, basically all I wanted to say is you can look elegant and pick up uh, dog poop at the same time. But considering the internet, you know, cute animals, dogs, cats, poop. it's actually surprising that a series about dog walking has actually taken this long to come. Yeah, and it's surprising it's not 
uh, even happen on TV, actually. Indeed, no, absolutely. Would be on, we've, uh, we've actually seen lots of documentaries on things like uh, about dogs. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's me or the dog, you know, dog yeah. training ones, the, dog, uh, horse, dog whisperer. Yeah. yeah. So actually, doing a series about dog walkers in a scripted comedy seems to be a, a natural, logical, logical project. Absolutely. Indeed. Yeah. And maybe they could pitch this as, you know, could we convert this into a TV series? Absolutely. Well, The Simpsons did yeah. a uh, uh, episode about dog training about 22 years ago. Thinking about it, with Tracy Ullman as the uh, sort of puritanical dog trainer. Be based a voice of Margaret Thatcher, I think. That episode. Do you remember the episode? I you think season one. I now. think I do. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because Santa's yeah. little helper was very naughty. Is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, she, she I've taught seen them to so choke many him. Episodes choke of yeah. the Simpsons now they've all just blurred into one. <laughs> they have. But what's sad about it is I find I remember the ones that are sort of twenty years old better than I remember the ones that are two because or three years old. Because the ones that are twenty years old because are actually you, better than the ones. That no, are two because they've been repeated ad infinitum, so you've seen them more often. No, no dogs on Alf. I don't think. They're actually going to do a series next next season called Law and Order Simpsons. Are they? Yes. An episode, you mean? Next they're season. Just because they're just two shows that go on forever. Um, best Doctor Who says, a comedy, they scrape the bottom there. I think that's that, a That pun does not bear dignify. <laughs> I wouldn't have read it. I wouldn't have read it. What's going on in the uh, the chat room? A quote for the ages, supposedly. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, Most of them are talking about your T-shirt. Really? Well, it's a fine T-shirt and one you really can't buy in the stores. So... Yes. Uh, You'll um, only see it here on those video guys. Big Brother Show has tweeted us saying their next animation they're making is, is about the Royals. Uh -huh. Would the UK be into that humour? Yeah. Well, a, ro a royal, ro a royal why, why animated web series? I would have thought it would be a UK I series thought, because yeah. we have a royal family and the Americans don't. So <laughs> I, I think that's they fair have, to say. They, they have the Sinatras and the Kennedys. Who's, uh, that is who true. can we say hello to in the chat room? Who's in the chat room? Sure. Uh, like. Apparently, um, they're saying a quote for the ages. You can look elegant and pick up poo at the same time. Well, thank you very much. As long as it doesn't end up on my uh, tombstone, I'm happy to be quoted with that. Oh. Uh, we've got uh, Barry Aldridge. Hello, Barry Aldridge. Hey, Barry. Barry's Barry. Hello, Barry. So, who's in the chat room? We've got Redders. Hello, Redders. Elizabeth Oriana. Matt Barrett. Uh, SP Wright. What kind of name is that? That's well, hello San to you Sandra. Anyway. Hello, Sandra. Oh, Sandra. Who did uh, Ask Grim? Remember Ask Grim? The death. Ah, yeah. I see. Right, Producer okay. of Ask Grim. It all, it all comes back to that. Good. Great. Well, guys, so watch Unleashed.com. Seven episodes to date, but the grand finale still Se in September production. 27th. September 27th. Put it in the diary and put a big circle around it. Guys, that's our second web series of the evening. Thoughts? Yep. Comments? Final well, comments? I really, you like that? It? I think it's a really good, fun show. Yeah, and I enjoyed that one a lot. Good. Well, I'm looking forward I'd to the. I uh, think the that eight episode seems to be quite short. For, I mean, like, they could make more. Oh, I'm sure they, they will. Yeah. I think they will. I think they will. It's a good original idea, and who knows what they'll do with it next. Cheers from me. Good stuff. Now, uh, it's the Q and A section, the, the sort of miscellaneous internet Whoa. news section. What is this? It says a picture of the Codex Halloween yeah, costume. Yeah, well, Codex, the Guild. The, 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 the most popular. The, the Guild is of launching all the YouTube shows. Exactly. You can. Buy a Halloween costume now yeah. of, of Codex. Um, possibly the most popular YouTube, um, web series character around. Yeah. Really? Well, we, how haven't, come reviewed we haven't reviewed the Valar show then. Well, how popular can they be if we haven't reviewed them? 20 million hits. We're going, to, we're going to do probably a whole episode just to the oh. That's It's that big. Well, so. why, we should do it soon, actually. Then it's not getting any smaller, is it? No, and and if you want well. to meet, quick, quick plug here, if you want to meet Felicia Day in person. It's going to be over in the UK next May. <laughs> Have you just drop another name again? Let's drop another name. I'm trying to sell another ticket. www.starfury.co.uk And we encourage Americans to come over. We do, actually, to, yeah. To, the, to London for that Why event. Not? You know, if I just see this coming over, do you think she'll come to your uh, convention? Uh, uh, if, she, if she wants to buy a ticket. Okay. YouTube well, we'll convention in the UK? VidCon UK? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on, yeah. A lot of uh, exciting conventions and things coming up in the uh, upcoming months. Well, there's um, the Rain Dance Film Festival here in London at the uh, October the first. We've got a web series uh, special day for at the film, film festival. Well, that's pretty big news, isn't it? Rain Dance is uh, a pretty big thing. I think Indeed, it's yes, it's, it's a, a pretty a pretty big UK festival, and I will, I'm helping put together the program for web series on that. Oh, well, well done there, Alison. That's some big stuff there. So, where can we find out more about the Rain Dance Festival? Uh, Raindance.co.uk. Okay, and Sean, about your festivals uh, or conventions, where can we find out about them? Uh, there at you just starfury.co.uk. S T A R F U R Y. Well, guys, we've pretty much covered all we wanted to cover for uh, those video guys talking web TV. But 
of course, if you stay tuned to YTV coming up in about half an hour or slightly less, you will have the next episode Talking of Talking Who. Who. And we've got a very special guest, very special Indeed. guest, yeah. who is uh, sitting in the room and uh, having a ball, I think it's fair to say, having a fantastic time. His name is Jeremy Bentham. Uh, in 1976, he was the founding member of the Doctor Who Appreciation Society, and uh, since then he's done many, many more things uh, around Doctor Who. I don't, I'm assuming mm. you guys will have a good old chat yeah. with him about that. So, have you been catching up with Doctor Who recently? I haven't. I didn't even know it was back on the air. Is it? Is it still on? Is it back on? Has it yes, it's still on. Yes. <laughs> I haven't finished. seen. I haven't seen it. I'm sure. I hear it's very nice. It's there. a good. good have you been show. watching Torchwood? I haven't seen Torchwood. Sarah ever. Jane Adventures is back soon. <laughs> Good, okay. With a little metal dog, or is that the... Yes, uh, yes. with a little metal dog. Sometimes if the copyright... Because he has his own Australian show now as well. Which we don't talk about that. Don't you? Wow. <laughs> I never realised it was such a sort of hotbed of political, uh, you oh, know, yes. uh, uh, rivalries and discussions there. But that's talking who? Come what are you guys going to be talking about this week? We uh, have The Girl Who Waited, obviously. Yes. Day of the Daleks. And Day of the Daleks. Great. Okay, good stuff. Jeremy Bentham is here. He will, will be here. I will, I will lend you my copy of uh, Time Lash on DVD. What, what's and that, that will get you hooked on top to do. I'm being <laughs> well. I'm getting conflicting. Uh, I'm getting <laughs> conflicting messages from the Time other people. Time Lash and Time of the Rani. I'll lend you. Those end, that's not such a great place to start, Sean. But I trust you. Yes, I trust you, and I'll watch them. So, John, what's what's what what should be the next talking special? From well, we'll have a think. I was just going to say the last Doctor Who I saw, genuinely, Roy yeah. Castle was a policeman. Oh, you mean the movie? That's, yeah, that's, okay, the, only, yeah. that's the only yeah. Doctor Who I've ever seen. I thought, it, I thought that was quite good, actually, but uh, yeah. didn't re- I didn't think there was much scope in it. For uh, I, didn't think, I didn't think they could take it any further, so I never bothered watching it again. Peter Cushing <laughs> as the Doctor. Mm. I don't know. Uh, if anyone has got any ideas, we did Talking Alf a few weeks ago where we sort of specialised. Mm. We did a whole one-hour show just talking about Alf. Sean, can you imagine how... Well, I know that Barry Aldridge would love to do Talking Thundercats with you. Really? Well, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Thundercats. I love the Who's music. not a fan of no, I'm really Thundercats? Not. I love the opening credits, and I love even more the closing credits. Yeah. But the cartoon itself, I could take it or leave it. You know. Well, how about really talking, talking Masters of the Universe? Again, the same fantastic theme tunes, but uh, the cartoons, I, was always, uh, I would always flip the channel and see what else was on when they started. Nonetheless, guys... During the week, we're on the internet all the time. You can tweet us. We'll go yeah. through. Let's go through the uh, the stuff one last time. And of course, the highlights, the edited highlights, and you can see the edited in high definition on our YouTube channel in yeah. high def, in high def HGTV. Uh, so if you didn't have time to watch this whole live show, you can watch it in uh, bite-sized chunks throughout the week. But as I say, one more time, Google Plus uh, slash TVG. Ustream.tv slash YTV. Well, I heard they've lost about four or five million users in the last week. But uh, anyway, <laughs> well, Twitter, that was Twitter and those video guys, YouTube, those video guys, TV, Facebook, like us at those video guys, and our website, those video guys. TV. Individually, we're on Twitter as well. Ellie Cab, Sean Harry, and John Atkins the third. So please follow us and tweet us. And again, we'll we'll happily tweet you back. There's three of you. There are three. Yeah, well, my father and uh, grandfather alike were both called John Atkins. And your son will be John Atkins the <sighs> fourth? I don't know. Oh, I you just uh, yeah, wait. That's been hanging over me for about twenty-five years. And if, if, if you're like your first child's a daughter, you just have to keep on trying until you have the son. Joanne Atkins. No, I suspect the fourth? even if it was a girl, I'd probably have to call it John, John Atkins the fourth. fourth. Really? Yeah. So uh, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> anyway, hey, that's uh, an, a bizarre, a slightly bizarre turn of events that I wasn't expecting to go down, <laughs> guys. Uh, we've been those video guys, myself, John, Sean, Elazar. I'm getting a bit confused. I'm looking yes. at the monitor and I'm facing in both different directions. Anyway, we've had a lovely show and we will see you. I will see you next week. And these guys will be back in about half an hour. But from then, until next week, we are those video guys. So long.